So this tutorial will show you how to modify an existing brand with a new research and development product uh, and I'll also show you how to launch a new brand completely. So this is based on the previous cost reduction research and development that we did. So the simulation has been run, it's now in period two. So we click on research and development report to make sure that our new project is available. We did everything correctly and here's tone two. Minimum base cost is 154 compared to what it used to be, which was 254. So we are going to be $100 better off in terms of revenue. That's a pretty good result. Okay, so in order to use that, all we have to do is click on decide. Now we go to brand portfolio. Now, in order to change an underlying research and development project for an existing brand, all we do is actually click on the brand and modify. Now we have the option of what base project to use. Definitely want to use Tone 2. Confirm modify, and that is all we have to do. You can see here it's now Tone 2 is the base project. Now that means that all of your brand awareness, purchase intentions and advertising, everything for Tone is unaffected. Everyone still knows about it in the same way. All it means is you're making a lot more money for everyone that you sell. So that's a good result. This would also be how you would change a brand. So we could change tops. If we had done some research to make a better version of tops, maybe with more power, this is how we would change the underlying research for that as well. Again, we would keep our brand awareness, they would keep knowing everything that they know about the brand, but the product would be better. So if we want to launch a new Sonites brand, that was the second part of this video, simply click launch, choose a brand name, I'm going to call mine Toby, give it a role in portfolio, new low cost, and select the base project. Now in this case I could choose any of the three, I'm just going to choose Tone 2. Now the benefit of using the same base project for more than one brand is you'll have cumulative production benefits. So because your base cost reduces slightly when you increase your production, this means you're producing for two brands with the same underlying project, so you might be able to reduce your base cost over time even more. So launch the new brand. Now you can see here that we have Toby, our new low cost. It's launched in period three using Tone 2. Now it's launched, but it's not yet supported. So you need to go into the marketing mix, also into commercial team and allocate commercial people, but I'll leave that for you to work out. So click marketing mix. You can see here there's no product planning, no price, no advertising. So we're going to make sure that Toby actually gets made. So these are just random numbers just to show you what we need to do to make it extremely cheap. Give it a media budget. Now if you're launching a new brand you definitely need to support it with a significant media budget. Otherwise, your awareness will be very, very low. I uh, haven't really thought about who I want to target, so let's just target shoppers, and that's it. You do need to do the commercial team for Toby as well. So that's everything for that video. It shows you how to launch new products, modify old products, and hopefully that'll help you.